My name is Dr. Ramin, and I will be discussing about the chest X-ray findings in a COVID-19 patient. This talk is more focused only on the chest X-ray findings. Uh, we'll be doing a separate talk on uh, HRCT findings, but COVID-19 is an infectious disease which is caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus. The stats as on today, there are approximately 2.3 million people affected and it has caused like 161,000 deaths and with more than 1.5 million active cases at this current time. This is an article which will be more focused towards today and the main findings in this article were that x-ray findings are shown in approximately 69% of the patients and important thing was that 9% even showed extra abnormalities before they were tested positive on PCR. Regarding the findings, the consolidation was the most common finding and then ground glass opacities were also the second most common. What was more important is that it showed more peripheral and mid and lower zone distribution and Something of interest was pleural effusion is very uncommon, like about 3% of the patients showed. Now I'm going to review a few cases of COVID-19 with you. A few of these cases would be normal, and some with early disease, and some would be showing late disease. And we'll be doing it more in a quiz mode that I will just display a image and would like you to pause the screen and just make what you think is this a positive COVID case or it is a negative COVID case. So let's start with the first case. So this was a male patient who came with the symptoms of cough and a chest radiograph was done. And now if you can see this case, there's no significant areas of any ground glass haze or consolidation noted. Even if I do a negative image of it, you can see that lung fields are pretty clear and you don't find any significant opacity in this case. So this is a normal chest x-ray and uh, with no significant finding on chest x-ray for COVID and this patient ultimately turned out to be COVID negative. This is another patient which was again screened for symptoms of cough and this chest x-ray is again uh, normal and even if I do a negative image for you you can just see that lung fields are quite clear with no significant areas of any ground glass haze or pacification in these in this case as well this was another patient who came in for screening and what you see in this case is that there are areas of some consolidation and airspace opacity in this region and then you can see another one in this region and then another one in this area and if I do a negative image for you you would be able to appreciate these opacities more clear that there is an opacity here another one here another one here so this patient was further tested and uh, unfortunately came COVID positive so this was another patient who came for the screening and just pause and see if you can see anything. So if I do a negative image for you. And there is no significant opacity to see, so this was more likely a normal chest x-ray with no significant finding and fortunately the patient tested to be a COVID negative as well. This is another patient and if you can see that there are opacities seen in this region in right side and again another opacity in this area and this is also sh more showing peripheral distribution and also in mid and lower zone predominance. So this was proven to be a COVID uh, positive patient, COVID-19 positive patient and was further referred for treatment. 
This was another patient. And no significant opacity was found in this patient. And even if I do a negative image for this one, so you can just visualize that no significant opacity was seen. So this patient also presented with respiratory distress and was diagnosed as a case of COVID-19 patient. In this case, you can see that the opacities and consolidation areas with nodules are seen scattered in, bilat in bilateral lungs. And these are also extending into the upper zone regions bilaterally. So in advanced cases or more, uh, uh, and in some cases, the opacities can extend into the upper zones as well. And we'll so this is another patient. In this case, the cardiac size appears mildly enlarged, but still no definite opacity uh, could be appreciated on even on the negative scan, you can just see that there are no significant opacities which are more suspicious for any COVID pay, uh, finding. I'm sorry about the quality of this x-ray, but uh, still um, you can appreciate that there is haze on the right side of, and also there is elevation of uh, right hemidiaphragm. This is a supine chest x-ray of a young patient. And then ultrasound, it was seen that there is a more like a pluripion on the right side. So this suspected case was uh, not given a suspicion of uh, COVID on at least uh, our chest x-ray. And then uh, on the further testing in PCR, this patient also tested to be negative. So if you see a pluripion, and uh, so that's more like in, uh, in, in with proper lab settings, it's more likely to suggest some other pathology rather than COVID. This is another patient. And if you can appreciate on these images that there are multiple opacities in mid and lower zone predominance and then more peripherally, peripherally arranged and in this area as well. So this is a proven case of COVID-19 and you can see the distribution of the opacities in this. This is another case. In this image, you can appreciate that there are opacities more peripherally based and again in almost mid distribution bilaterally and even on negative image you can appreciate that opacities which are consolidation and ground glass haze in bilateral peripheral regions so this again raises the suspicion of COVID-19 in this patient and this patient was proven to have COVID-19 with respiratory symptoms again a patient where you can appreciate that there are multiple opacities more again based in the periphery in this area, in the left mid zone, in the right mid zone, and extending all the way down. And even on the negative image, you can appreciate those opacities running all the way in the periphery. So this was again a patient of uh, COVID-19. This patient presented with some symptoms of respiratory distress. And if you appreciate this X-ray, there are again opacities in bilateral basal regions. Here in this right basal region and left basal region. And this was again tested and this also proved to be a COVID-19 patient. This patient this patient is in more advanced stage of the COVID-19 lung findings. And if you can appreciate that there are more dense consolidation bilaterally in mid zone again, and with basal involvement as well. So this also tested to be a COVID-19 positive patient. This is an X-ray of a pediatric patient. And this was also COVID positive. And what we can appreciate is that there might be some opacity in this left mid zone region. 
This was another pediatric patient. And if you can appreciate on this x-ray, so there are again opacities and the opacities are rather atypical in the sense that they are more following mid and upper zone. Again, still this patient was tested and uh, positive for the uh, COVID-19. So in summary, if you see areas of peripheral airspace consolidation, ground glass haze with mid and lower zone predominance, it should raise suspicion of COVID-19 in given pandemic situation. So the main objective of this lecture was to make you more familiar with the main findings which you will be seeing in a chest x-rays in your patients and to, be, to make you more comfortable with chest x-rays. And thanks a lot for your listening and have a very nice day.